Hello and welcome to Storytime. First, I'd like to say thank you to the Gadigal and Wangal people of the Eora Nation for letting us share your land. We promise to look after it, the animals and people too. Hello land. Hello sky. Hello friends. And hello me. Let's sing the hello song together with a big smile and a big wave to get ourselves in the mood for stories. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? I hope you're doing really well. And I'm going to tell you a story now about a special veggie called a turnip. Have you ever seen a turnip before? Let me get one. This is what a turnip looks like. <laughs> Have you ever eaten a turnip before? Maybe. This is an ordinary turnip, but I'm gonna tell you a story about a great, big, enormous turnip. You ready? Once upon a time, there was a farmer and he went out into his field and in his hand, he had a seed. And he said, I'm gonna plant this seed and when it grows, I'm gonna make a lovely turnip soup for my family. So he did just that. He planted the seed and off he went. Blah, 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 blah. Do you have a seed as well? Let's plant our seed together. My one is so tiny, you can't even see it. Let's dig a hole in the ground, pop our seed in, pat, pat, pat. Now, what does a seed need to grow? It needs rain, let's give it some rain. Pitter patter, lots and lots of rain. And it needs the sun, let's give it some sunshine. Beautiful rays of the sun coming down. Now, this little seed, it grew and it grew and it grew until it was the most enormous turnip in the whole world. And here it is right here. It's big, isn't it? Now. The farmer came back and he saw this turnip and he thought, I'm gonna pick this turnip and make some soup for the family tonight. So he grabbed a hold of the turnip. Can you grab a hold of the turnip too? We're gonna to pull. And he pulled and he pulled and he pulled. <gasps> but that turnip wouldn't budge. So then he thought, I'll ask my wife. And he called out, wife, wife, come and help me pull this enormous turnip out of the ground. And so she came running along and she said, yes, of course I will. So the wife grabbed the farmer and the farmer grabbed the turnip and together they pulled and they pulled and they pulled. But that turnip wouldn't budge. Then the wife called the daughter and she said, daughter, daughter, come and help us pull this enormous turnip from the ground. And the daughter came running and she said, yes, of course I will. So the daughter grabbed the wife and the wife grabbed the farmer and the farmer grabbed the turnip and together they pulled and they pulled and they pulled, but that turnip wouldn't budge. So the daughter called the dog Dog, dog, come and help us pull this enormous turnip from the ground. And the dog came running and he said, ruff, 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 of course I will. So the dog grabbed the daughter and the daughter grabbed the wife and the wife grabbed the farmer and the farmer grabbed the turnip and together they pulled and they pulled and they pulled. <sighs> but that turnip wouldn't budge. Then the dog called the cat and said, cat, cat, come and help us pull this enormous turnip from the ground. And the cat came running and said, meow, meow, of course I will. So the cat grabbed the dog and the dog grabbed the daughter and the daughter grabbed the wife and the wife grabbed the farmer and the farmer grabbed the turnip and together they pulled and they pulled and they pulled. But that turnip wouldn't budge and there was no one left on the farm to help. They were gonna to have to be hungry tonight. But just then, the cat who had very good hearing heard a tiny little noise, a squeak, 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 squeak. 
and it was a mouse who just happened to be passing by. And the cat said, little mouse, come and help us pull this enormous turnip from the ground. And what do you think the mouse said? Squeak, 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 of course I will. So the mouse grabbed the tip of the cat's tail and started to pull. And the cat pulled the dog and the dog pulled the daughter and the daughter pulled the wife and the wife pulled the farmer and the farmer pulled the turnip. And together one last time, everyone, come on, you've really got to help me now. They pulled and they pulled and they pulled and out popped the turnip. And they all rolled it home together and chopped it up and made it into a soup and they had the most beautiful turnip soup that anyone had ever tasted. And that's the end of the story. Are you feeling hungry? After that story, I'm feeling hungry. I've got some fruit and veggies to show you now, but we're gonna play a guessing game. So we're gonna say a poem and then I'll give you some clues and then you've got to guess what veggie it is. And here is the poem. We start off with a seed again, a little seed like this. And we say, plant a little seed into the ground, watch it grow, what can be found? This fruit is red or green, crunchy and sweet and grows high up in a tree. What could it be? Let's count to three. One, two, Three, it's an apple. Let's take a bite. Hum, nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Are you ready for the next one? This one is a veggie and it's lovely when you cook it, but when you try to chop it up, it sometimes makes you cry. What could that be? Let's count to three and find out. One, two, three, it's a onion. Did you guess an onion? Let's see what else I have in my basket. Oh, here's a good one. This one is a fruit and it's yellow and long and monkeys love to eat it. What could it be? Let's count to three. One, two, three. It's a banana. Let's eat this banana too. Ready? Um, yum, 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 yum. Yummy. Now, I have one last veggie for you. And this one grows in the ground and it's orange and rabbits love to eat it. What could it be? Let's count to three. One, two, three. It's a carrot. Did you guess a carrot? Let's eat this one too. Um, yum, 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 yum. Yummy. I'm not feeling hungry anymore. I'm feeling full. Are you feeling full too? Let's sing one last song together. And this time, let's sing about the rabbits who love to eat carrots so much. Let's sing about little Peter Rabbit who had a fly upon his nose, a butterfly on his chin, and a spider on his knee. Have you got your flippy floppy ears ready? Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. So he flipped it and he flopped it and it flew away. Now, do you remember what came next? It was the butterfly on the chin. Here we go. Little Peter Rabbit had a butterfly on his chin. Little Peter Rabbit had a butterfly on his chin. Little Peter Rabbit had a butterfly on his chin. So he flipped it and he flopped it and it flew away. Now, do you remember what the last creature was? It was a spider and it was sitting on Peter Rabbit's knee. Little Peter Rabbit had a spider on his knee. Little Peter Rabbit had a spider on his knee. Little Peter Rabbit had a spider on his knee, so he flipped it and he flopped it and it ran away. Well done, everyone. That was really, really good. I'm afraid I've come to the end of my story time, but let's sing our goodbye song. And with a big smile and a big wave, let's do it together. Goodbye, goodbye and cheerio, cheerio, cheerio. Goodbye, goodbye and cheerio, 
and have a lovely day. I hope you have a beautiful day to, today. And I just wanted to let you know that the library has wonderful things, e-resources on the website. So do check them out because there's always lots of new things to discover. I'll see you again next time. Bye.